Science. Grade 5 Quarter 2. Unit 2. Living Things and Their Environment. Objectives. Lentify the parts and function of the male and female reproductive system. Describe the different ways by which animals and plants reproduce. Discuss some of the interactions of living and non-living things in an estuarine ecosystem. You came from your parents, the chicks came from their parent chickens, the papaya plant came from its parent plant, people, plants, and animals have the ability to reproduce their own offspring, when one or two living things produce their offspring, they are involved in a process called reproduction. Chapter 3 What are the parts and functions of the human reproductive system? Objectives Lentify the parts and function of the male and female reproductive system. Discuss the menstrual cycle. Enumerate ways on how to take care of the reproductive system. Males and females human beings have observable differences in their body structures. There are also differences in terms of body structures between a young and an adult person of the same sex. When you were younger, you may have noticed that your body looks different from your father or mother. Now that you are an adult, you start to notice changes in your body. The human reproductive systems have something to do with the differences and changes observed between males and females. The male reproductive system Sperm is the male reproductive cell. A man can release millions of sperm cells but only one is needed for fertilization. The male reproductive system is made up of several organs which include the testes, ducts, accessory glands, and penis. It is specifically responsible for producing sperm cells and hormones. A sperm cell is needed to fertilize an egg cell, Hormones are responsible for the development of adult male characteristics. A male can produce numerous sperm cells, an average man can have approximately 5 million in a single drop of his semen. Out of these millions of sperm cells, only one is needed to fertilize an egg cell. Parts of the male reproductive system Functions of the different parts of the male reproductive system Penis Penis is the external, male organ with a tip called glands, it is covered with foreskin that may be removed through circumcision. Scrotum Scrotum is a pair of pouch-like sacs that contains the testes, it also controls the testes temperature, because they must be slightly cooler than the body to produce sperm cells. Testes Testes singular Testis are the glands that produce the sperm cells and the male sex hormone called testosterone. Epididymis The epididymis is a narrow, coiled tube that stores sperm cells. Urethra The urethra in males is the passageway of both urine from the urinary bladder and semen from the glands. Seminal vesicles Seminal vesicles are sac-like pouches attached to the vas deferens, it contributes to the semen production, a sugar-rich fluid which provides energy for the sperm cell's motility. Vast deferens The vast deferens is a long, muscular tube that serves as the passageway of the sperm cells released from the testes, it also connects the testes to the seminal vesicle and the urethra. Cowper's gland Cowper's gland, also called as the bulbarethral gland, is one of the two pea-sized organs found beneath the prostrate gland, it is responsible for releasing fluid that flushes out foreign matters and neutralizes the acidic urine in the urethra. Prostate gland Prostate gland is a gland located between the bladder and the penis, it produces fluid that nourishes and protects the sperm. The female reproductive system the egg cell is the female reproductive cell, this is the biggest cell in the female human body. The female reproductive system is made up of several organs which include the ovaries, fallopian tubes, uterus, and vagina. It is specifically responsible for producing egg cells and supporting a developing baby inside a mother's womb. 
The egg cell is only one-tenth of a millimeter, about the size of the diameter of a hair strand. Ovary The ovary produces egg cells as well as the female sex hormones estrogen and progesterone. Female humans have two ovaries. About 70,000 potential egg cells are already present in the ovaries of a female when she is born. However, only about 500 of these eggs will mature. The mature eggs are released one by one every month once the female reaches puberty and until she is about 43 to 55 years old, the mature egg cell leaves the ovary through the fallopian tube. Fallopian tube The fallopian tubes lead the egg from the ovary to the uterus. This is also the usual site of fertilization of the egg cell and sperm cell, Female humans have two fallopian tubes, each connecting to an ovary to the side of the uterus. Uterus Also called the womb, the uterus is a hollow muscular organ located at the lower abdomen, it has a soft, smooth inner lining called the uterine lining or endometrium. This lining becomes thicker as it accumulates blood and nutrients to accommodate the unborn baby as it develops, it is also the site where the fertilized egg is implanted. If the egg cell is not fertilized it, together with the uterine lining, it will break down and is discharged during menstruation. Cervix The cervix is located at the lower part of the uterus. It is a narrow opening between the uterus and the vagina. During childbirth, it expands to allow the passage of the baby. Vagina also called the birth canal, the vagina is a hollow, muscular tube that extends from the cervix to the vaginal opening called vulva, it expands to let the baby pass during normal delivery. Let us review. 1. Which of the following organs expand to allow the passage of the baby to the vagina? A. Cervix B. Fallopian tube C. Ovary D. Vagina Answer. 8. Cervix. 2. Which of the following has the smooth inner lining that accumulates blood and nutrients for the unborn baby? A. Cervix. B. Fallopian tube. C. Uterus. D. Vagina. Answer. C. Uterus. 3. What female sex hormone is released by the ovaries? A. Estrogen B. Progesterone C. Testosterone D. Both A and B Answer D. Both A and B 4. The tube that stores sperm cells A. Scrotum B. Testes C. Epididymis D. Penis. Answer. C. Epididymis. 5. Secretes fluid which nourishes the sperm. A. Prostate gland. B. Urethra. C. Scrotum. D. Testes. Answer. A. Prostate gland. 6. The gland that releases the fluid that flushes out foreign matter and neutralizes acidic urine in rethra. 8. Vas deferens. B. Penis. C. Urethra. D. Cowper's gland. Answer. D. Cowper's gland. 7. The passageway of urine and semen. A. Urethra. B. Epididymis. C. Testes. D. Penis. Answer. A. Urethra. 8. A pair of pouch-like sacs that protects the testes. A. Penis. B. Scrutum. C. Testes. D. Vas deferens. Answer. Beat scrutum. 9. Produces sugar rich fluid that provides energy for the sperm cell's motility. 8. Vas deferens. B. Cowper's gland. 
C. Seminal vesicle. D. Penis. Answer. C. Seminal vesicle. 10. Glands that produce sperm cells and the male sex hormone called testosterone. 8. Penis. B. Testes. C. Scrotum. D. Urethra. Answer. Beat testes. 11. External male organ with a tip called glands. A. Scrotum. B. Testes. C. Prostate gland. D. Penis. Answer. D. Penis. 12. The passageway of sperm coming from the testes. A. Vas deferens. B. Seminal vesicle. C. Prostate gland. D. Cowper's gland. Answer. 8. Vas deferens.